Here at SparkFun, we've been using Eagle to lay out our products for the better part of a decade. We find that Eagle is really well suited to the type of layout that we do. We also like the fact that Eagle has a free version available to hobbyists so that we can share our design files in an editable format without forcing anyone to buy expensive software. After designing hundreds upon hundreds of products in Eagle, we feel like we've pretty well nailed down the design for manufacture process. We've also amassed a serious collection of proven and up-to-date component footprints, over 500 of them. As part of our open source philosophy, we want to share this knowledge so that you don't have to start from scratch. Honestly, we've made every mistake in the book, from routing traces at unnecessarily weird angles, to losing the ground plane entirely, to even, well, actually, I'll show you this. This is one of my favorites. This is a board that I hope to push for Free Day 2013. It's just an Arduino shield with a cherry switch and a couple of diodes, and it allows you to mash the refresh button on your computer without ruining your keyboard. The problem with this is that it doesn't have any traces on it. See, I routed the traces, and then I saved that file to my ready-to-go folder, and then when I cammed all the jobs, I pointed the cam processor at the old file that didn't have any traces on it. So when I got this, I thought it looked kind of weird, and I realized all it has on it is component footprints, and none of them are connected. We don't think you should have to make those same mistakes. Whether you're just spinning up a couple of boards for a personal project, or getting ready to manufacture your first commercial widget. So we've put together a collection of tutorials, libraries, and getting started videos to help you not only use the Eagle software, but use it to make hardware that's ready for manufacture. We'll get you started by helping you load our design rules, parts libraries, and even our keyboard shortcuts, so you can spend less time clicking through menus and more time designing your board. Check out our tutorials on prototyping with breadboards, installing Eagle, configuring Eagle for production manually from our GitHub repo or by importing a ULP file, creating and modifying parts, importing schematics, laying out and routing your PCB, running a design rules check, and creating Gerber files to send off for manufacturing. We're adding new footprints to our library every day and constantly updating our user guides. So be sure to check back often to our website, sparkfun.com, and also subscribe to our YouTube channel to take advantage of our engineering experience and to learn from our mistakes. It could be just the shortcut you need to get your project turned around fast.